All right, so creating the landscape, I like to set my section size to be a bit higher. And that's because that'll decrease the cost on the CPU. And then just increase the number of components to match the size that I'm looking for. Now, I don't like to use this standard sculpting brush because it's way too uniform and landscapes don't look like this in real life. If you head to the brush type here and then select this alpha, you can change the brush texture here. A good brush texture will allow you to quickly create realistic looking landscapes. And the good thing about this is that you don't actually really need to use any of these other tools like noise and erosion because the result is going to be realistic enough. Just make sure to have some areas with more displacement, like more distance between the higher and the lower points, and other areas with less displacement. If you find that your composition isn't looking right or something looks off, try adding a background, like background mountains with trees or something, because it might actually help a lot. The default density in the foliage tool is way too high for trees, of course. I like setting mine to around 0.2 for, mo for most cases. And you want to make sure that you're kind of putting out foliage sporadically. So like they come in groups. So like then there might be there might be a group here and a group here, but like it's not going to be it's not going to be like square and like, you know, like all the foliage like in one pile, it's um, they're most often going to be found kind of like we have a group here and then a group like, let's say here. Essentially, what I'm saying is that nature follows a pattern. They're not going to be like evenly distributed and they're not going to be like uniformly distributed either. There's a couple important settings in the color grading section of your post process volume. The global contrast and the global gain can make a pretty big difference to how the scene looks. And then after adjusting these, remember to adjust your exposure and your skylight to get the brightness level that you were looking for.